All right. Week four. Day one DLR. Here we go. Um, boy, this one's a real, real whopper of a sentence here. Uh, let's see. What we got actually, you know what I got to do? I got to shrink that down. I got to, I got to capture it, don't I? All right, Gino. What do you think about this sentence here? Lions is big cats who are best known for their loud roar. What do we see wrong with this? A lot of hands up right now. Remember, we read, then we edit, then we write. Don't skip the first two. That's important. What do you think, Gina? What do you see? Roar is spelled wrong. So I am going to circle that. How do you spell it, Gina? R-O-A-R. That is correct. Yeah. So lions is big cats who are best known for their loud roar. Yeah, Danico. Yeah, lions are. That's much better, right, guys? Lions are big cats who are best known for their loud roar. I think that's it. Is there anything else? No. I don't see anything else. I don't see anything else either. Everything looks good to me. All right. So now we've, we've read. I, how many times did I read that? At least five, right? So reading it is important. Justin, place. grab your computer. Yeah. Reading it is important, right? So we have two corrections for that one, right? And then, then now you write it out, right? Lions are big cats, right? Right. You, now you would write it out. All right. Look at. Let's look at this next one. See what we got here. It says, "Did you know that a lion can be heard from five miles away?" What do we hear, Reina? Here, heard is incorrect. How? What should that be? H e a r d. That's correct. Heard, right? Not heard, but heard. Did you know that a lion can be heard from five miles away? We're missing punctuation, right? We're missing punctuation, Jay. What do we need at the end of that? We need a question mark. Jay Kent, right on the ball, right there. Yeah, we just put the punctuation and we circle it, though, right? Do you guys see see anything else? Because I don't. Do you see something, uh, Shane? It's not much of a correction, but it's just something I I just got rid of from uh, oh, all all. I just got rid of one. What did you get rid of? What now? Word from because did you know that a lion can be from five miles? I like the word from. I I guess I I might not take away, but we'll keep that in there. That's not, I don't think it's grammatically incorrect, but I like the word from in there. Are you ready? So there's two corrections here, right? So again, we got two. So for the next one, it says Hello, rewrite the sentences. Please stand for the pleasure of the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, my name is Miley. Please say the class promise with me. Today is a new day. I will act in a safe and healthy way. I respect the rights of others. I'll treat all property with respect. I'll take responsibility for my learning. Today I'll be the best thing I can be. Good morning, my name is Kenzie. At Gateway Elementary, we follow our core values. We choose to be kind, safe, responsible, and a problem solver. Today for lunch, we are having chicken nuggets, roll mashed potatoes, no. carrot sticks, fruit fresh can juice, twice a milk. Happy birthday! I will, uh, I'll reach out to his mom today. All right, so we got to make a compound sentence. So take a look up here, Chris. It says, sometimes people capture lions. What are we doing? We can get rid of the comma, and we're going to add the word because. Because people want to save lions from harm. Right? Does that work? What do we need to do with the P, though? 
That needs to be lowercase, correct? Right? Yes. Shane, what'd you do on that one? Yes, I did lowercase it, and that isn't a comma, that's a period. I know, we replaced a period with a comma. See what I did there? Right. So we're going to use a comma, right? Rewrite the sentence to make compound sense. We need to use the word because, but because is a conjunction, right? What do we always add before a conjunction? A comma, right? Yes. All right. So sometimes people capture lions, comma, because people want to save lions from harm. Could you do that a different way, you think? Yeah, Riker. I was thinking of a different way because this didn't sound exactly right. So what did you do? Couldn't you do, can you do this? Could you do because, we could start with this one right here, ready? Could you do because people want to save lions from harm, comma, sometimes people capture, no, that doesn't work. I don't know. I think the way we've got it is pretty good. Yeah. Um, you could say zoos sometimes. Well, we can't add words. We've got to just keep the sentence the way it is, right? I think it works the way the way we did it, right? All right, use the context clues to figure out the meaning of the bold word. All right, so here's the bold word, captivity. All right, let's let's highlight some clues to what captivity means in the sentence. The lions that are kept in the zoo are in captivity. Is kept a clue? Yeah. Is zoo a clue? Yeah. Even lions is a clue. So what's captivity mean? What do you think? Right here. Um, something that uh, like you can't come out of, like you're kept in it for like like channels and stuff, but for animals. It seems like it, right? Yeah. Zoos do kind of give give that feel. Not uh, although not so much anymore. They they build them their enclosures. They they make them like as realistic as possible but I, I put something like this living under human care does that make sense yeah. it's a fake habitat that we created for them right what do you think cohen i think that i don't feel like when you're if you're an animal in a zoo mm -hmm. because they're good owners to you sure yeah but if you're in a circus Oh, that wouldn't be good. No. But both are both are living in captivity, right? Yeah. Just one is more um, more uh, help uh, natural and and healthy for the animal. Yeah. All right, here we go. That is today's DLR week four, day one today.